The Dome of the Rock, also known to Arabs as Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, a great monument of the late 7th century and a fine example of Islamic architecture. Let's take a closer look at its history of architecture. Let's begin by learning about the history of the Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock is located in modern-day Jerusalem in Palestine, which is a city that has been the epicenter for the world's three monotheistic religions for many centuries. The Dome of the Rock was built by the Umayyad Caliph Abdel Malik from the Abbasid Empire between the years 685 and 691. The Caliph instructed two Arab architects, Raja ibn Haywa and Yazid ibn Salam, to construct a dome with the best materials available to them. The Syrian architect Raja ibn Haywa was the architect behind this masterpiece, where Raja was a leading Islamic jurist and Arabic calligraphist that was responsible for the detailed inscriptions on the Dome of the Rock. However, historians have suggested that Byzantine architects who worked on nearby churches may have had an influence on the design of the structure. The Architectural Style The architectural style of the Dome of the Rock is a fusion of Byzantine, Persian and Islamic architectural styles. One of the most striking features of the Dome of the Rock is its octagonal base which supports the dome. The base is adorned with arched windows filled with stained glass. It is topped by a large golden dome which is one of its most distinctive features. The dome's interior is decorated with elaborate geometric patterns, calligraphy and floral motifs, all of which are typical of Islamic art. The building's walls are clad in multicolored marble and its exterior is adorned with intricate geometric patterns and inscriptions from the Islamic scripture, the Holy Quran. The Spatial Organization An interesting method of analyzing buildings in terms of spatial organization is the transition hierarchy and heart which analyzes spaces based on these three elements. This is the analysis method discussed by Simon Unwin in his book Analyzing Architecture. The elevated nature of the Dome of the Rock as well as the arched gateways leading to the structure creates a sense of transition from the life of injustice that Palestinians have been enduring into the peaceful and spiritually soothing nature of the Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock is endeared by Palestinians and it has been a structure of great importance and unity which helped them cope with killings and injustices over the past centuries. The sense of hierarchy and importance of the Dome of the Rock is seen in the significant elevation of the structure in comparison to all other buildings in the area. Finally, the heart of the Dome of the Rock is within the interior center of the structure, where you will find a religious symbol called the Noble Stone, which holds great emotional significance to many Muslims visiting the Dome of the Rock. Form and Geometry The Dome of the Rock is a remarkable example of Islamic architecture known for its impressive form and geometry. The building is circular in shape with a diameter of around 20 meters. The exterior of the building is decorated with intricate geometric patterns and inscriptions from the Quran, while the interior features ornate tilework and intricate mosaics. The building is crowned by a large golden dome, which is one of the most striking features of the structure. Materials used The Dome of the Rock was constructed using a variety of materials, including marble, stone, mosaic tiles, and gold. The use of these materials was meant to convey a sense of grandeur and opulence, which was characteristic of the Islamic art and architecture of the time.